Mike's um, on. So okay. my first question is, who was your favorite Justice League member to share scenes with? See what I mean? Yeah. Um, I would honestly say, I mean, if I had to really pick one, which is so hard because I love them all so much, but I'd say there was this person, this really amazing woman who played Wonder Woman, oh, whose name is Gal Gadot. Oh, I can't um, stand her. I, yeah. Well, <laughs> look. Some people just... We put up with the bad parts for the really good parts, you know? It'd be like the league of actors. I mean, you know, no one is similar to the other. It's yeah. Very different. Very very different, different actors. Yeah. How did it all get together? It, it just worked. Yeah, I think that Zack Snyder is really, really talented um, and also very talented in casting the right people for the, for the characters. Um, and he managed to, exactly like you said, to put all the ingredients to make the very best uh, recipe. And the stew is uh, delicious. <laughs> for you though, like the whole Wonder Woman thing, like it's been so fantastic. Can you even like just comprehend it all? Nope. <laughs> love the so honesty, great. love the honesty. And so overwhelming and and I'm still taking it in. Um, and I think that maybe in a year or two, in retrospect, I'm gonna be like, You'll be like, wow. okay, I understand this. Now I get, I get it. This. It's been wow. Did you have some heat, like a, a particular hero as a kid who was like, your hero, not in the superhero mode, but maybe in music or in film or in... I am a big fan and always wore of Maya Angelou. Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. You were like a four-year-old. You were like, and Maya Angelou. <laughs> yeah, no, not as a four-year-old. It's, four, it's, it's funny because for girls, there aren't, like, other than mm. princesses. Interesting. There aren't too many, like... Right, so you, you know. felt the deficit of heroes so that you have now actual, filled, the void you have now... In a weird, crazy way, I don't want to take the, the entire credit because now there's going to be more and more, but yeah, I'm happy that we, we, we did it and people can see the movie. At, well, this is so great. This is great. I have I'll more tell questions. You, why, you ask me another one, I have more. we really say everything to each other, so it's kind of okay. How was it for you working with her? Did you have some of the Israeli vibe uh, rub off on you? Fruit, trina, and hummus. Yeah. Falafel. <laughs> we had like food fight. I mean, it was an honor. I, she's absolutely the the perfect perfect woman to play Wonder Woman. I have yet to meet anyone from Israel who has not asked me about Gal. Oh, you know. She must be the most famous person in Israel, short of like Netanyahu or Perez, <laughs> David Ben Gurion. They're gonna change the airport to Gal Gadot uh, Airport. How popular are you getting with your character? Because like, like, say for instance on Halloween, like every other person was like Wonder Woman. Do you just do you ever get tired I of just seeing it? It's seeing funny because it, it, it was the reverse it? of of roles, right? <laughs> Usually the girls get excited to see me. I had a big mask, so no one could uh, recognize me, and I, I got so excited <laughs> to see the Wonder Girls and Wonder Women. I was like, I was keeping on, on going with my look. Oh my god, love the costume! Like literally, I was fanning them, and it was um, it was awesome. And You're it like, was... who's that crazy lady in the back? <laughs> little mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm too too movie, so I, I'm I'm really into like the idea of the turning of the tides and how this the last couple thousand years of human history have been so male dominated in a way that has not always served us clearly here we are on the brink of destruction and so i wonder mm. if you would say something for me would you say into the camera hetero patriarchy your wrath upon this world is over oh my god i want it so bad hetero patriarchy your wrath upon this world is hetero? over hetero patriarchy it's like hetero? straight men ruling everything. Um, Hetero patriarchy. I'm just going to say. Yeah, you do your thing. You find a way. Misogynist sexists. Yes. Your wrath upon this world is over. Oh, get him. <laughs> that was the greatest moment of my life. Thank you. What's your favorite holiday recipe and why? Mm, so I celebrate um, Jewish holidays. Hanukkah. And I would bit. say so the month of Shavuot, um, there's a lot of dairy um, dishes that you do, and I would say that like um, a delicious 
vegetable and cheese kish. Mmm, that's good. I like that latkes too sound. a lot. Oh, latkes. I enjoy yeah, a good latke. I like, you know, my, my family sometimes on Christmas morning, we do um, like a shrimp and grits breakfast, which is really mm. delicious. Uh, duck sometimes, like I like eating weird fowls. That happens around the holidays. It's one of the only times outside of like the, the Chinese food order that you'll like eat some duck. I'm into that. I like duck. I love, it's tasty, I love delicious, that too. crispy. Yeah, skin, oh, mm. succulent fat, and crispy, tender meat. Duck. Delicious. Bonus question: What is the best Hogwarts house to be placed in? Everyone would usually say Gryffindor. You know Done. What I mean? 